I want to show you how to use and orient a unistellar telescope. First, get the telescope acclimated to nighttime temperatures. Turn it on. When the oval-shaped LED on the side turns red, you can go ahead and remove the cover from the telescope. Then, you need to connect to the Wi-Fi network created by the telescope. So go into your phone or tablet and set up that connection. Then you're ready to launch the Unicellar app. Inside the Unistellar app, we need to first perform an orientation on the telescope. So click on the telescope icon in the lower right. That will take you to the screen where you can move the telescope. That center circle looks like a joystick. Move it down to take the telescope uh, at least 20 or 30 degrees away from the zenith. Then you can perform the orientation by tapping where it says EV scope orientation at the top. The telescope will move, um, sync with your phone's GPS, but look at the sky from different orientations and figure out where it's pointing. Once you see that orientation is successful, you can go to the catalog and point your telescope at a star. Here I've chosen the North Star, Polaris. Hit that and then hit the Go To button and the telescope will begin to slew across the sky to find the star that you want to use for focusing. Once you've found your focusing star and the telescope has settled down on that star, you'll want to use the focusing mask to get a good focus. So you'll split apart the dust cover with the focusing mask, put the focusing mask over the front of the telescope, and look back at the image of the star. What you'll see is uh, these lines, which we want to get properly aligned by turning the focus knob at the back of the telescope. To get a better view of everything, you want to adjust the gain or the exposure of the telescope so that you've got a nice clear view of what you're trying to focus. Pinch and zoom in to get a better view and then turn that focusing wheel to get everything perfectly aligned. Once you're happy with your focus, we're now ready to look at an object in the sky. Remember to take the Batonov mask off the front of the telescope so that you get a good view. Wow. You can find something in the sky by going to the catalog and typing something into the search window. You can also go to the move section and choose the target icon in the upper right. This will allow you to enter in coordinates for your object in right ascension and declination, like shown here. From either of these, you can then move on to find the object that you want to observe. Here I am putting uh, a name into the Unistellar database and we'll begin to slew towards M42, the Orion Nebula. Telescope will then slew across the sky, and after a little while it will come to point at the object you want to see. There it's nicely set up there. Once the telescope is done with its slew at the object, you can begin observing it and taking a nice photo of what you want to see. And once that's centered, you want to hit the star icon in the lower left to begin enhanced vision right there. That will then begin to accumulate light and build up an exposure for you 
If you want to adjust the brightness or contrast, you can select the edit button at the bottom to take the telescope off of uh, the auto mode and you can adjust the brightness or the background um, as you see fit. And this was a quick orientation on how you can begin to use a unistellar telescope to observe wonderful things in the night sky.